Hey friends, today we are hanging out in Disney's Animal Kingdom and I'm excited to come to the park and show you guys all of the new things we have to look forward to for the new year 2024. I also got dining reservations at Tusker House. It's the only character dining experience in the park and it's a buffet. So we're going to ride some rides, eat some food and have a wild Animal Kingdom kind of day. Anywho's, let's go do this. I don't think I could have asked for a better day to actually come hang out at Animal Kingdom. The temperature's in the 50s and it's just so nice out. Look, the sun's starting to come out right now. So I'm excited to go ride some rides. I wouldn't be opposed to riding Expedition Everest and since I'm by myself today I can use this single rider line and it's probably like zero minute wait. Uh, and then also, I've been wanting to see the Finding Nemo musical. I haven't watched that in probably at least a couple of months. It's one of my favorite shows. So those two are definitely we have to do. It looks like it's not that very busy in the park today. Usually I can tell by the walkways and this little bridge is actually really nice. Get a nice little view of the water down there. Animal Kingdom is such a beautiful park. And I thought always, wouldn't it be nice if they lit these and they were like candles at night when you walk through here? Obviously, that's a fire hazard. <laughs> I'm a little bit interested in knowing what the single rider line is like for Expedition Everest. If it's a busy day, I usually just use that. But if it's not that busy, I always like to go in the regular line because you can ask for the front row or the back row. The single rider line, you kind of go wherever they tell you. You don't have a choice. So uh, I don't know. I'm going to judge it when I get up there. There it is, Expedition Everest. This is definitely hands down one of my favorite roller coasters of all time. The overall theming, it's just, and it's a good ride if they would just fix that Yeti. Let's go get that Yeti. I also want to stop off into Dino Land USA, maybe ride Dinosaur, but if you don't know, Disney announced that they're going to be uh, replacing Dino Land USA with an Encanto themed area and an Indiana Jones themed attraction like Dinosaur's counterpart in uh, Disneyland. So uh, maybe we'll uh, go check that out, play some games, try to win a dino. The single rider entrance is to the side of the attraction. You got a little sign on the outside there, but it doesn't have a wait time. Normally it's a zero minute wait. It ended up being like a 10 minute wait, but that's not too bad. I gotta see, I didn't even look at what the standby wait was. I actually just came and hopped in line for the single rider.
expedition Everest is just so amazing. I always get excited after I get off of it. Like my heart's already racing. Uh, and uh, I'm excited to see what the footage is like because I'm testing out the DJI 3 Pocket. And uh, this is my first time ever recording on it. So I'm excited to see what it was like on the ride, but also just the whole video in general. Uh, now let's go check on Finding Nemo. Nemo, Nemo swimming out to sea. I think yeah, if we're gonna be going to see Finding Nemo, maybe I should stop and get a snack or something. You know, a little snack. Oh, there's the wait times. Why am I? Might as well look at them. All right, Expedition Everest was a 40-minute wait, but we waited 10 for a uh, single rider. Flight of Passage is a 90-minute wait. Navi River, 70 minutes. When's the next show for uh, Finding Nemo? Where are you? I think it is at 2.30. Uh, 2.30. Uh, yeah, oh, wait, that's now. It's 2.30, 3.30. Holy moly. Uh, looks like we are just on time for the next show. We didn't have to wait or anything. We can just walk in. Look at that. Very fancy. Not my dad. In a big blue world. Like I mentioned, I'm testing out a new camera, so my apologies if the video was a little off. I'm trying to actually navigate and figure out how to work it for the first time, and I figured a nice little test run today here at Animal Kingdom would do just fine. So let me know in the comments what you guys think. Like, how's the sound? How's the picture? Do you prefer this one or my old way? And, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Maybe I might, maybe I might have found my, uh, my big problem solver to, uh, Cameras here in the vlogging community. I love this theater too. I think I'm going down to the front row. Finding Nemo is just so good. Like, it's hard to believe that, you know, this is in a theme park. Like, I would say that that is like, you know, a high class show right there. Honestly, I love it. Like, you know, I would I would see people pay money just to go see that show, like on its own, like on Broadway or anything like that. Uh, and the, like the CMs that work it, like the puppeteers and the singers, they're all amazing. They're all so talented. Like, it blows my mind, but, now I think we're going to make our way over to Dino Land USA. Right now I'm hanging out uh, kind of in the seating area where they used to have the nighttime show here. Now it's kind of just like a cool spot to get away. I'm going to spin the camera around and show you. The birds like hanging out over here though. But look at this, I got the whole place to myself. And also I like these functions on this camera. It does a bunch of spinny roof. Ooh, did you see that? 
It spins around. It does a loop dee doo. Let me do a little wrap around. I feel like up until the moment Dino Land closes, anytime I come to Animal Kingdom, I'm gonna have to stop in and just enjoy it for the last time. Cause you never know, could happen so fast. I mean, one second you could be here at Chester and Hester's Dino Rama. Next thing you know, you can be on an adventure with Indiana Jones. You never know. I was talking to a friend of mine one time and uh, I asked him if he liked Dino Land USA and he said it looked like a parking lot. But I think it's because it is a parking lot. My camera's following me. It's following me. I'm trying to show you it's a parking lot. So if the Imagineers made that friend of mine believe that this is a parking lot, I think they did a good job because it's actually a parking lot. It's what it is, you know? And soon, they're gonna demolish it all and make it a parking lot, for real. When it comes to the fact of Indiana Jones coming to uh, Walt Disney World, uh, I'm excited. I love the uh, I love the Indiana Jones ride in Disneyland, uh, so I'm probably gonna love the one here. The only thing is, is I wish we could have just kept them both, kept Indiana Jones there and Dinosaur here, because now I feel like we're losing a ride. You know what I mean? We're not gaining another ride because we already have an Indiana Jones ride unless they do an Indiana Jones dinosaur ride, which is possible. I mean, after watching the whole entire Indiana Jones franchise, I mean, nothing is, like, shocking. You know what I mean? I mean, basically, he's done it all. What is Kevin doing over here? What's she doing here? Hi, Kevin. <laughs> Kevin! <laughs> Hi! <laughs> oh, that is the best! <laughs> Kevin, you're the best. <laughs> I, I think I do! <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm Kevin, so... You are Kevin! Yeah, I'm Kevin, so... Look at that! Hey. Kevin and Kevin! <laughs> I've been making my way through Walt Disney World uh, for the last couple of weeks now and getting to see all of the parks for the first time in 2024. So I'm happy that I got to come to Animal Kingdom today. I know we're going into February soon and I have MegaCon around the corner. I'm going to be doing MegaCon here in Orlando. Uh, it's a convention. I'm going to be doing a meet and greet there Saturday, February 3rd at the Roosevelt's booth from 2 p.m. to 4 p.m. And it's free to come see me. I think you have to pay to get in there but it's free to come see me uh, so if any of you guys are there come by and say hi I'll be there uh, hanging out I always love walking down towards uh, the back of the tree of life because it's always so nice over here Look, you got a little band over here and they've got secret pathways everywhere you go I don't even know where this thing takes me This is down where the Wilderness Explorers are. Yeah, well this is a nice little cozy area. Next to the water here. Oh, what a shot of the Tree of Life right there. I always like matching my shirts to like what I'm doing in a video. Like for instance, I'm at Animal Kingdom today and I love this Pluto shirt that Roosevelt came out with. And I was like immediately, I'm like, oh, it's a green shirt. I'm gonna wear that to Animal Kingdom. But look at how cool this is. I love this shirt. It's so fancy. My camera, I'm still getting used to because it moves on its own. Ooh, it follows me. Oh, wow. I wonder if I set this down. Will it follow me? I'm gonna put this down right here. I hope I don't break my new camera. <gasps> wow. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this power, but this is pretty cool. I don't know what I'm not in frame. 
This is why I love walking through here. It's so beautiful. And you get to really get a close look at the uh, tree of life. Look at that. An elephant right there. A nice little walking area. And they come out on the other side. We're gonna probably start making our way over to Africa because I wanna go and get ready for our Tusker House reservation and maybe Kilimanjaro Safaris or the Festival of the Lion King when we get done afterwards. I mean, any one of those is a good way to go. I was making my way over to Tusker House and then I saw that Animal Kingdom is doing like a s'mores uh, showcase where they have all different s'mores like themed treats and I saw that they had a s'mores churro and I gotta try it. I gotta see how it is. A good Animal Kingdom churro. Nice little, it looks like it's good. It's got graham crackers and I think it comes with marshmallow sauce and it's like a chocolate churro. So uh, yeah, a little, little snack before dinner. I'm not a big Disney World churro fan, but this looks exciting. This looks really, really good. Oh boy, and then you have that little marshmallow dipping sauce in there. Oh my Lanta. This is actually really good. The only downside is it's not like a warm churro. If it was like a hot churro, like, you know, Disneyland, they cooked them right at the carts, but something tells me they probably uh, brought these in and they're just kind of stored back there and they can get a little crunchy. No one's got time for a crunchy churro. I do appreciate, though, how Animal Kingdom's trying to step up the churro game. They must have seen how successful... Uh, what's the uh, bar outside? Oh, hi. How are you? Well, great. It's good to see you, too. I'm trying to think of the restaurant outside Tiffin's. Oh, man. Nomad Lounge. Thank you. Oh, that's awesome! You know, they have amazing churros, and Animal Kingdom's like, hey, let's just try some small churros. Directly across from where I showed you guys, where we walked uh, around the Tree of Life, they have this photo opportunity down here. I love it. Look at this view. This is almost like a photo. You can literally, this is like a picture, and you got the ducks going in the water right there. Look at that. Enough of the churro business. I think it's time to head on into Tusker House and get ready for our reservation. I'm excited because they have some really good, unique food items there. And uh, I mean, I think it's probably the best like value or overall experience here at the Animal Kingdom. I mean, Tiffin's is gonna have the best food, but like, I love the atmosphere in here. The food's unique. So like, I think this is like the best, my, my pick for Animal Kingdom restaurant, I guess. Don't get me wrong, I love all of the restaurants here, but I just think like this is more than just, you know, food. I mean, it's a, a whole experience and a buffet, and I love it. And it's actually tucked away. You don't even know there's a restaurant here because most people think this is like just a bar, but here's a look at the menu. Tusker House Family Buffet with African Flavor. And you get to meet characters in there. Enjoy your taste of adventure with your favorite Disney characters. Breakfast, lunch, and dinner. It is $62 for adults. Wow. 62 bucks. I'm going in now. I'm going for it. We get tandoori, spice rubbed, rotisserie chicken, braised beef, green cherry shrimp, rotisserie pork. A lot of interesting things. So I think the check-in is over here. I'm not gonna do like a full dining review on Tusker House in today's video. This is just me stopping in because I saw a reservation. I was like, you know what? I gotta have a little lunch or a little dinner somewhere. Uh, but if you do, I'll put a link in the description. I already came and uh, like I, you know, I actually broke down, uh, you know, everything and what I thought about it. Uh, but I do love this restaurant. Like I said, it's a unique experience. If you're not an adventurous eater, um, I probably wouldn't say this is like the best thing for you. But they do. Have have a little bit of something like they have corn dog nuggets on the buffet and I mean everybody loves corn dog nuggets I mean you know what I mean and chicken legs chicken legs and corn dog nuggets I kind of like the sound of that chicken legs sounds like a start of a country song a little bit of chicken legs and a corn dog nugget they have everything listed right here that's gonna be available on the buffet a big selection of breads mini zebra loaves honey rosemary rolls 
Then they've got uh, the chicken, the pork. Over here they have classic offerings, corn dog nuggets, macaroni and cheese, chicken legs, green beans, mashed potatoes, uh, a lot of other things. Ooh, double chocolate zebra cookies. I'm excited to try the desserts. This looks exciting. Oh, and I think I just got my text. I think our table is ready. Here is a look at the buffet. They've got uh, zebra bread there. I mean, it's actually a pretty spacious buffet too. It's not like it's uh, like really tight quarters. Oh, look, Donald's over there, always being Donald. I think this is mostly the cold stuff though. They have like zebra bread right here, which I'm interested in trying. I wanna know about this zebra bread. And then they've got, uh, ooh, honey rosemary rolls. Little mini cornbread muffins. Wow, we got some turkey, we got some ham, some grapes, some coleslaw, all the good stuff. We got some greens, we got greens, carrots, cucumbers, onions, oh, a homemade ranch, I thought that was soup. I know that they have like some soup here, but looks like they got some nice dressing though. Coconut curry uh, vinaigrette, some corn, oh this is the kids buffet. Corn, green beans, chicken legs, mashed potatoes, corn dog nuggets. I love corn dog nuggets. Then we've got some chicken curry. I like how I'm just casually walking around. Look at the green chili right there. This all looks so good. Beef, mashed potatoes. Wow. I don't know how the light's picking it up, but like I said, I keep walking. Like, this is a huge buffet. And then they've got the meats over here and the dessert bar, potatoes, salmon, all of the good stuff. I'm definitely, like I said, I'm coming back to make a plate. Oh, the chicken, too. Hi, how are you? How are you? Good, good. They cut up the chickens right back there. Well, that's fancy. Oh, look at this little chicken. Oh, well, that's a chicken whole chicken. They cut it up and they just put it right there. Oh, wow. This all looks good. I got just a little bit of everything so I can give it all a taste. I'm excited for these uh, corn dog nuggets, though. I just love corn dog nuggies. They're not as good as Casey because uh, Casey's has the hub grass. Uh, but I would still, uh, I'd put them up there. And also, the chicken's actually looking really good. Oh boy, here comes the goof, look at him. The curry is so good, and uh, the beef uh, is really, really soft. It has a lot of flavor to it, but I'm probably gonna get more curry. Look at Donald over there. Oh, there you go. They're kissing the making up. There it is. Thanks, pal. I appreciate the food. <laughs> oh, nice. Have a great one. A little Coca-Cola. A little Coca-Cola with some spicy food. And now some uh, delicious desserts. The dessert that they've got here is like top notch. They've got African bread pudding. African malva bread pudding with blueberries and bananas. I'm getting some of that. And then they got brownies. They got key lime tarts. They've got almost everything. Zebra cookies. Some fresh fruit. Oh, this is the kids buffet. I was wondering why it's down there so far. I'll still leave. I'm definitely going back for those zebra cookies. Got some more cupcakes here. Oh, and then these are like little like uh, honey, honey uh, tarts. There we go. We get one of these. Bada boom. Excellent. Look at... Oh, there's Donald. Yeah, well, hi, friend. How's it going, pal? Where's Daisy at? I know. I saw you. I saw you earlier. You were looking for Daisy. I know. I got blueberry bread pudding. Look at this. Blueberry bread pudding, and then I, I know you want some. You would. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, we'll see you, Donald. Thanks, pal. <laughs> Look at that bread pudding. Oh boy, here we go. Yo, wow, did you see that? I'm pretty sure the dessert, the camera's following my dessert. 
Now if I go over here. Oh, do you see that? Wow, that is fancy. Oh! I just saw Donald. Oh yeah, he's over there. He, I, he was looking for you earlier. I thought that was cool. Yeah, Donald, yeah, he was watching you. Oh, I know. You guys are the best. You're the best, honestly. Oh, oh the food's great. Yeah, yeah, blueberry, great. Fantastic. You want to do a picture? Wait, I'm going to slide this over so I'm going to do a picture. Just like that. Cheese. Tusker House was amazing, and I think the Festival of the Lion King is starting right now, so we're going to try to go catch that show since we're right next to each other, and I've been lucking out all day today. Hopefully, I think I might be able to make it. Oh, it looks like it's going to be crowded, though. The queue is on the outside. I think it's the last show of the day. It's the last show of the day. Actually... I don't know if we're gonna make it. <laughs> they might cap the line. Sadly, I never did get to watch the Festival of the Lion King. I had to use the restroom before I got into that theater. And by the time I came out, it was already done. They, I think they capped the line and they were like, we can't guarantee you'll get in. And I was like, no worries. I'll come back another day. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I said, I live like really close, so I can just hop up here the next trip I come and you know, I'm not gonna rush it. Oh, well, thank you. You guys having a great day? You're doing the festival. Oh, yeah, Festival of the Arts. Yes. You make it out there yet? Not yet. Oh, you're going to love it. See you, man. But, yeah, it was uh, too late. <laughs> we made it into Pandora, and it is so nice out. Look at this. I love it. I want to live in Pandora. This is what it looks like. I don't know what the wait times are like, but I don't mind looking. I just got a notification on my new camera. It says only 10% battery remaining. I don't know how long that will get me. So if this ends abruptly, this is it. I'm sure 10% will get me at least out to the you know exit of the park. So I think we're going to start making our way out. Making our way out and stopping to see if they've got that special little uh, sweater I've been looking for. Sweater. Even though it's not sweater weather. I ran into a nice lady named Miku who watches my videos in Japan and she actually came to Walt Disney World and she brought all of uh, these for me from the Japan. I uh, got a nice little Dalmatian thing, but look at this. I'm so excited to try these. Matcha Kit Kats, kind of like how I get in the pavilion in Epcot. She actually brought me ones from Japan. And I'm so excited. She said they might be a little melty. I said, don't worry. Maybe I'll put them in the freezer. Freeze them right up. I'm walking to the car. Man, Animal Kingdom. I'm glad the trams are back. But when they park you all the way down on this side, uh, <laughs> the trams let you out like all the way over there. So I just walk back. There she is, the most beautiful dog on earth, Grissy girl. Who's a good girl? Oh, look at you. You wanna go for a little walk? <laughs> oh, you're a good girl. You want a treat? Huh? You want a treat? You want dinner or a treat? You want dinner and a treat? <laughs> yes, you do! <laughs> and with that, we are back home now. I got to let Gracie out and uh, the battery charged up a little bit. Uh, so if you want, you can uh, continue watching uh, the video because uh, I'm about to give Gracie a treat along with a nice little toy and uh, it's a special toy. So it's going to take like her a little bit to get to it, but I think it's a little bit of fun. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it and uh, we'll see you next time. Bye. Gracie loves this little toy. You put the treat in, it's got a little door. Oh yeah. And she can she has to try to get it out. <laughs> Go ahead, you'll get it. This is turning into a Gracie vlog. As it should. You got this. Come on. 
Open up the door. You're on the right side. Get it. <laughs> no, no, no. It's the other side. All right. I'll give you help. All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. You can take the cookie out of there. <laughs> You're so funny. Yes. Who's a good girl?